Hey guys, I'm Darth Trader. Welcome to my channel where I discuss and review all things related to the G1 Transformers toys and collectibles universe. And since it's Christmas time and the holiday season is upon us, I thought we would talk today about the 2007 Carlton Cards Heirloom Christmas Ornament G1 Series Collection of G1 Megatron. Let's take a look at his box. You can see the artwork on the box, as usual, is just an image of the figure. They did use the Transformers logo from the original series, colored for the Decepticon. And the box sides and back and top are just generic Carlton Cards advertising, nothing Transformers specific. But if you turn the box to the bottom, you can see it is again a licensed product with the Transformers logo again. So let's set the box aside and take a look at Megatron himself. Now they've done a really great job on this guy. He's very similar to the Optimus Prime ornament from 2007, but he is very, very nice looking. Now they did also use the very similar, I guess you'd call it rubberized plastic. It's not fully rubber but it is bendable a little bit he does he's not poseable it just bends a little bit to keep him from breaking so that's nice very comic book and cartoon accurate where the hallmark decided to go more g1 accurate as opposed to the toys and comics i think this guy is a really nice looking figure they've used metallic silver paint for the main body and a burgundy red metallic paint for his highlight so he looks absolutely awesome you can see they've done a really nice job on his face sculpt as well again very comic and cartoon accurate now i do have my hallmark megatron with me so let's go ahead and take a look at him so you can compare the differences between the two ornaments okay guys here he is next to his 2015 g1 hallmark series counterpart and as you can see the hallmark was clearly g1 toy accurate where he's comic and cartoon accurate and also i have to say the quality is far and above better on this figure than the Hallmark. Now, that's not just because this Megatron looks a little more cartoon accurate, looks a little more menacing, but just the overall quality of the build. This guy has so many weak points. In fact, this will be the last time you see him on my video screen just to save his life. This arm is getting looser and looser as I've been filming, so I don't want to subject him to more damage. And he doesn't hang on my tree because frankly, he's just too delicate so let's set him aside and we'll finish up with this guy i definitely recommend adding him to your collection he's really cool looking and as always you don't have to use him on a tree you can put him on your desk on your shelf with your collection however you like to look at your transformers but definitely put this one near the top of your list he's really that cool Okay, guys, that is it for today. I really appreciate you guys spending some time with me. And if you liked this video, I would appreciate it if you would hit like below. And if you want to see more videos like this from me, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. I hope you all have a very safe and happy holiday season this year. We'll see you next time.